Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Techno Education Academy. In this video lecture, we will discuss the basic MCQ of heat transfer subject. Let us start with question number one. The heat is transferred by conduction, convection, and radiation in case of option A boiler furnaces, option B melting of ice, option C condensation of steam in condenser, option D none of these. So, as we know that in case of a boiler furnace, the heat is transferred by conduction, convection, and radiation. Here you can see that okay, it is a radiation, okay, heat transfer. Okay, in radiation, there is no any medium is required to transfer the heat. Okay, then after this heat is transferred to the tubes. Okay, and uh, we know that okay, whenever any physical contact will be there at that time, the heat transfer it will be take place by conduction and it is generally occur in solids. Then after it will transfer the heat to the water which is filled inside the tubes. So generally in case of a liquid and gases the heat is transferred by convection. So in case of a boiler furnace the heat is transferred by conduction, convection and radiation. So the right answer is option A. Question number 2. Depending on the radiating properties body will be transparent when so, as we know that in case of a transparent body, the radiation is transfer. Okay, it will not absorb and it will not reflect. So, its transmissivity is 1. So, here you can see that in option C, tau equal to 1. Okay, and tau is the transmissivity. So, in case of a transparent body, all the radiation it is transmitted and body does not absorb the radiation at well as well as it will not reflect the radiation. So, its reflectivity is 0, rho is 0 and uh, absorptivity is 0 but transmissivity is 100 percent. So, tau equal to 1. So, the right answer is option C. Question number 3. A grey body is 1 whose absorptivity option A varies with temperature option B varies with the wavelength of incident ray option c varies with both a and b and option d does not vary with temperature and wavelength of the incident ray so the right answer is option d question number four the heat transferred from a hot body to cold body is directly proportional to the surface area and difference of temperature between the two bodies this statement is called so, Q equal to HA delta T, where Q is the heat transfer, H is the heat transfer coefficient for convection, A is the surface area, DT is the temperature difference. And this statement is given by Newton law of cooling. So, the right answer is option B. Question number 5. The ratio of the energy absorbed by the body to the energy falling on it is called it is called absorptive power question number six two plates space 150 mm apart are maintained at 1000 degree celsius and 70 degree celsius the heat is transferred or it will be take place mainly by so as we know that in case of a radiation okay there is no any medium is required to transfer the heat and here uh, between the two plate, okay, the distance is 150 mm and the temperature of the one plate is 1000 degree Celsius and another plate is 70 degree Celsius. So, here the heat will be transferred by radiation because there is no any physical contact and the heat will be transferred by electromagnetic waves. So, the right answer is option D, radiation. Question number 7. In regenerated type heat exchanger, heat transfer take place by so in case of a regenerative type heat exchanger the flow of hot and cold fluid alternatively over a surface question number eight a perfect black body is one which option a is black in color option b reflect all heat option c transmit all heat radiation option d absorbs heat radiation of all wavelength falling on it. So, in case of a perfect black body, 
okay it is one which absorb heat radiation of all wavelet falling on it it is correct question number 9 planck's law holds good for so we know that planck's law uh, it's uh, good for black bodies so the right answer is option a question number 10 the heat of sun reaches to us according to radiation reconvection force convection option d conduction so as we know that in radiation okay the heat will be transferred by electromagnetic waves and in case of radiation there is no any medium is required to transfer the heat so the sun uh, reaches so the heat of sun reaches to us according to radiation question number 11 the transfer of heat by molecular collision is smallest in solids liquids gases none of this so in case of a gases the transfer of heat by molecular collision is smallest so the correct answer is option c question number 12 the space between the two walls of a thermos flask is evacuated because vacuum is a Das conductor of heat. So we know that vacuum is a bad conductor of heat. Okay, because we know that okay for conduction and convection we require the medium to transfer the heat. But in case of a vacuum, only radiation will be take place. Okay, so uh, the space between the two walls of a thermos flask is evacuated because vacuum is a bad conductor of heat so we can maintain the temperature of any of the hot and cold fluid for a long time question number 13 the average value of thermal conductivity for water at 20 degree celsius saturate is about 0.51 option a true option b false So the average value of thermal conductivity of water at 20 degree Celsius is 0.51 watt per meter Kelvin. So it's a true. Question number 14. The rate of heat flow through a body is Q equal to minus K A dt by dx, or we can say Q equal to minus K A t2 minus t1 divided by L. The term dt by dx is known as so we know that dt by dx means it is a temperature gradient so option a is a correct answer question number 15 the rate of heat flow through a body is q equal to minus k a t2 minus t1 by l or we can say q equal to minus k a dt by dx the term l upon k a is known as okay so here you can see that this ka it is in denominator so it is the denominator of the denominator okay so the term l upon ka it is known as thermal resistance so whenever we compare this uh, 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 resistance of thermal circuit with resistance of electrical circuit or we can say by analogy of the thermal circuit and electrical circuit okay we are already getting this equation r equal to l by ka it is called thermal resistance so the right answer is option c thermal resistance it is known as thermal resistance question number 16 the use of heat exchanger is made in option a radiator seen automobile option b condensers and boiler in thermal power plant option c condenser and evaporator in refrigeration and air conditioning system and option d all of the above so as we know that okay in uh, automobile we are using a cross flow type heat exchanger or we can say radiator okay it is used to transfer the heat from the engine body to the surrounding same as a condenser and boiler in the thermal power plant okay it is uh, also a heat exchanger and condenser and evaporator in the refrigeration system it is also heat exchanger so the correct answer is option d all of the above question number 
A furnace is made of a red brick wall of thickness 0.5 meter and conductivity 0.7 watt per meter Kelvin. For the same heat loss and temperature drop, this can be replaced by layer of diatomite earth. Option A 0.5 meter, option B 0.1 meter, option C 0.2 meter, and option D 0.5 meter. So as we know that L upon Ka it is a thermal resistance and here we are considering unit surface area. So L by K. So here you can see that uh, a furnace is made of red brick wall of thickness. Okay, its thickness is given L equal to 0.5 and conductivity 0.7. Okay, it is for red brick. So L by K ratio is 0.714. Same as we can also calculate for diatomite earth. Okay, and it is unknown value. X is unknown value. Here you can see that and thickness is dash. So uh, whenever we compare, okay, here because so here in the data, okay, for the same heat loss and temperature drop, this can be replaced, okay, by the layer of diatomite earth. So we can compare the ratio of L by K for the red brick equal to X by K for diatomite earth equal to 0.714 okay and put the value here uh, for the diatomite earth the thermal conductivity is 0.14 and x is unknown and this ratio is we have already calculated so x equal to 0.1 so the correct answer is option b question number 18 the heat transfer by conduction to a thick cylinder is given by so we know that okay the heat transfer by conduction through a thick cylinder is q equal to 2 pi l k t1 minus t2 upon 2.3 log r2 by r1 where l is the length of cylinder k is the thermal conductivity t1 and t2 it is the higher temperature lower temperature and uh, R2 it is the outer side radius for the cylinder and R1 is inside radius for the cylinder. Question number 19 the heat transfer by conduction through a thick sphere is given by the correct answer is option B Q equal to 4 pi K R1 R2 in bracket T1 minus T2 divided by R2 minus R1. Question number 20. The thermal diffusivity of gases is generally dash those for liquids. Option A equal to, option B less than, option C greater than. So we know that thermal diffusivity means it is the ratio of K by rho C where K is the thermal conductivity, rho is the density and Cp means specific heat or we can say it is the ratio of heat conducted divided by heat stored. So the thermal diffusivity of gases is generally greater than those for liquids. So the correct answer is option C greater than thermal diffusivity of gases is generally greater than those for liquids. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope this content it will be helpful to you. If you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends.